guys so today's video is going to be on how others see you and what they have to say about you both the good side and the bad side of those things because you can't have one without the other remember that this is a collective reading so take what resonates and leave what doesn't and also remember that other people's opinions of you are just opinions take it as a grain of salt you don't have to believe in them you don't they don't even have to be accurate but this is just what people are thinking and saying about you. So we have three piles, pile one, two, and three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. I am also offering personal readings if you would like something a little more personal to your situation and in depth on you and your life, then you can find the information for that in the description box below along with my Skype link where you can message me to set something up. And we're going to get started with pile one. So, for pile one, we have the I'm a volunteer, what's your su superpower pin? We have this brown rock and this white rock. And I really love this rock. This rock's pretty awesome. I think it's obsidian mixed with quartz. I'm really not sure, honestly. Could even be smoky quartz as well. And then we have this shell. So, how do other people see you and what are they saying about you? Other people see you as somebody who may be very emotional, but who has a very deep sense of emotions, but that you keep a lot of those within yourself as well. You're somebody very grounded, very balanced, very down-to-earth, humble, solid, stable. Somebody who likes to be there to help others and somebody who may be very spiritually attuned and connected. Somebody who's very pure and very sweet and somebody who really, I think you also help a lot of the negative energy and vibrations to be released in the spaces around you as well. And I wasn't planning on picking three of these cards, but all three of the pink ones fell out and they're very connected. The colors are actually very connected to each other for what is written on them. So I figured, oh well, we'll have three. And we put three for all of the piles. <laughs> so we have sincerity, devotion, self-control, stability, patience, active sports, athletic, confident, takes charge, ambitious, big dreams, career focused, and goals, one track mind. So other people may see you as somebody who is very solid, very stable, who's very confident, and has a lot of belief in themselves, somebody who really believes that they have everything they need within themselves and the universe will provide the rest, somebody who's very sincere, honest, and devoted, somebody who has a lot of self-control and is also very confident and takes charge, somebody that really takes the lead in situations when they feel that they need to, they will step up. You're somebody who's very active, very ambitious, has a lot of drive and a lot of forward, forward momentum, and you may be very, very focused on your career right now because you have a lot of aspirations, a lot of big dreams, and you really have a very one-track mind when it comes to your career as well. So you may have a very set goal that you want that you are trying to complete, and you're not willing to give that up for anything else. And once again, you're somebody who really has a lot of heart energy, a lot of emotion, but you also may be taking time to work on your things and yourself so that you can really focus on what's going on within yourself, connect more to your heart and connect more to your uh, inner voice in deciding what you want. You're somebody who really has a lot of abundance coming your way and I believe people may also sometimes feel like you don't express the emotions that you need to express that you may keep them a little bit bottled up <clears throat> they may even fill you up with a lot of negative energy because you're bottling them up so much and so people would really like you to take some time to understand yourself better so that you can express what you need to express to the world they see you as somebody who's a leader possibly a spiritual leader Somebody who really has a lot of wisdom and advice to offer to the world 
and you really may put a lot of effort into leading others and you may be somebody they it some of the people may feel like you want everybody to believe your way or the highway and you are willing unwilling to accept other people's beliefs and opinions as well because you're very focused very driven very one track mind and goal oriented you may also have an issue sometimes with accepting that other people have different viewpoints than you <coughs> And realizing and letting go of control will really help you to be able to understand that everyone has their own path to go down. And it's okay if not everyone believes what you believe. That doesn't change the fact that you're still a leader who can really open people up, I think, too. I think you open people up to their hearts and allow them to express their emotions in a more stable, steady manner. That may be why other people at times may feel like you aren't expressing your emotions because if you are expressing them you may be expressing them in a very stable grounded way and other people may take this as you're being fake but that's just what people take it as we have the seven of cups we have the four of swords we have the knight of cups we have the three of wands and we have the page of swords so other people may at times say that you are very immature they may really think that you have unbelievable dreams and fantasies and they aren't realistic and can't come true. They may really watch you and see all this hard work you're putting towards it, but they really don't see anything happening yet. They also may really see you as having a lot of opportunities as well and maybe resting on those opportunities instead of snatching them up because you're believing in your bigger dreams and you're believing in your bigger goals and you're going towards something that you want more. And they just don't understand this because they would have hopped on those first opportunities. But sometimes having the patience to wait for those opportunities that are more suited to us is much better. They may see you as somebody who may be very poetic, maybe very romantic, very dreamy, somebody who really expresses love, but possibly without connecting to yourself before you do. They see you as somebody who likes to take time out to rest, to reflect, maybe even meditation as well. Somebody who really enjoys time to yourself and really enjoys exploring your options. Somebody who likes to reflect on and see all the options that they have in front of them before making a decision as well. And somebody who has maybe even expressed their love or their desire for something and is now waiting for the results to come in and possibly even watching. Somebody who may communicate a lot and somebody who may even communicate a lot that helps others to free themselves. You also may be very prone towards manifestation as well. You're somebody who works very hard and visualizes and manifests through your optimism and belief that your ships will come in if you continue to move to work hard and manifest them in because you have really put a lot of effort towards your goals and your dreams you may also be learning very much emotionally right now on as well and others may see that too that you're really learning from exploring your emotions, from going within to understand yourself, you're learning and growing on that front. Shine your light. <clears throat> Who is really standing in your way? Might be yourself. Work hard and have faith. Knock down the walls. been through a lot so you've been through a lot and everyone sees that and maybe you have built up a wall around your heart in a way and really it has kept you from shining your light fully and you might be standing in your own way because you've worked so hard and you've had so much faith but at the same time our thoughts and our limiting beliefs about ourselves can a lot of times keep us from living up to our full potential I think people would really like you to open up more emotionally and to allow people in more. Read between the lines. They may not be opening up because they are unsure of your reaction. And you may also have such a strict wall around yourself and 
very high boundaries to the point that others may not be opening up to you because they may be worried about how you're going to react. And others may also feel like you're not opening up because you're afraid of how the world will react to who you really truly are. <clears throat> and they would like you to realize that this is why you're not shining your light. Your love of animals is a true, a thing of true beauty. Sometimes kids just need to experience to learn. They are on their own journey too. So other people may look at you and think that you're on your own journey too. And sometimes you just need to experience these things, go through these things on your own to be able to understand them yourself. And it could also be too that maybe people would like to tell you that sometimes they just need to experience things to learn as well. Like with this card and what we were talking about earlier. Just because they don't believe in what you believe, that's okay. They believe what they believe. And they have gone through their own journey and their own experiences to get to their own beliefs as well. And people may challenge your beliefs at times, but that doesn't mean that you turn your beliefs all of a sudden to their beliefs just because they challenge them and don't have the same beliefs, right? You like to research and do your own thing and come up with your own ideas. Other people like to do that as well, so it is okay. Animals always feel safe with you. You have a soft touch and a peaceful heart. And maybe a lot of that has to do with the way that you treat animals because you probably feel like animals deserve to be loved and treated with respect and decency. And some people really don't treat animals that way. Some people have a lot of different ways to train animals or, you know, the way that they treat animals just isn't the best. You are very creative. You could make something from almost nothing. When you are upset, the room is a good place to send a kid. Take a breather and think before action. So you may also have children of your own as well. And people may see that the way that you deal with them is very admirable. You're a leader when it comes to that. You're somebody who trusts them and allows them to walk on their own journey and somebody who is able to take a step back and calm yourself before dealing with a situation with them, which really helps as well and they really believe that you can make anything from almost nothing something from almost nothing and at times that can be a bad thing but at times that's a very good thing as well because sometimes it can lead into overthinking territory and confusing situations so that's what I have for this pile and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading I would absolutely love to hear if this resonated with you or your situation in the comments below and I hope that you have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you guys are watching. Bye-bye. On to pile two. <coughs> 1322. So people may see you as somebody who is really aligning themselves with themselves and their purpose and is really bringing your thoughts, feelings, and actions into alignment with each other to create balance in your life. They may see you as somebody who's very spiritual, somebody who's very pure of heart, somebody who may be a writer as well. You might be a writer in this pile too. We have the butterscotch beer good for all ages you may be somebody who can get along with people who are older people who are younger people who are the same age people of different cultures or beliefs you're somebody who can really get along with a lot of varying different people and you're somebody who works very hard somebody who really puts in a lot of effort to create the life that you have and to build something strong and stable possibly for your family as well 1989 is also on this coin so maybe you were born in 1989, or maybe it has some significance in your life. There's also Canada. There may be some, I don't know why I was just thinking French. I think I, <laughs> because I know somebody who was born in 1989 who is partially French. And we have Elizabeth II. So you may be a very powerful person, somebody who is very much in the limelight. Somebody who may be put on a pedestal a lot as well. Somebody who has a lot of 
courage and stability within them. And somebody who unlocks that courage and stability within others, the fight, the drive, the willpower, you also may be somebody who really brings a lot of transformation to other people's lives as well. Somebody who really unlocks a lot of luck and a lot of abundance and fertility and somebody who really is very capable of changing on a regular basis. Somebody who's very joyous, optimistic, hopeful as well. We have efficient, organized, loves to plan, clean, routine oriented, spontaneous, go with the flow, adaptable, flexible, zest, zest for life, curiosity, unconditional love, nurturing, humble, light worker. So you're somebody who really spreads light in this world, somebody who loves others with a very unconditional love, somebody who's very caring, nurturing, somebody that really puts in a lot of effort to take care of others and to love others. And somebody who's very efficient, organized, somebody that just is very logical and committed, somebody who is very stable and grounded as well, but at the same time, you're also somebody who can go with the flow and somebody who enjoys doing spontaneous things, is very adaptable, flexible, and is just very has a very strong desire to see the world and to enjoy life and really you unlock a lot for others with your optimism your hope and your joy for the world surrounding you and put these ones aside for now <clears throat> so we have the snake and the hyena so you're somebody who's very creative somebody who's very in touch with yourself spiritually, somebody who has really been through a lot of cycles in their life and has dramatically shifted and changed every time an opportunity to do that has presented itself to you. You're somebody who really allows the past to go and moves forward and is capable of really just going with the flow as far as that goes. You're somebody who likes to make jokes, is very witting, is very is very witty, is very charming, and really can be the life of the party. And at the same time, sometimes you might be a little bit petty. You might be a little bit harsh in your words as well. Sometimes you might even use jokes as a way to say things that are not so nice to others. Um... You're also seen as somebody who's very spiritually connected and in tune. And somebody who may even at times, there may be some people who talk a lot of crap about you who might think that you poison the lives of others around you. But in actuality, you are somebody bringing light and love to the world. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Hermit. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Seven of Swords. So... People may see you as somebody sneaky, devious, impulsive, somebody who takes quick action without thinking things through at times, somebody who can be very harsh or unforgiving in your words, somebody who may not feel good enough about themselves, and so that's why they feel the need to run away and hide from others, <clears throat> somebody who may take the ideas of others and put them to use as well. And, you know, I have a feeling that a lot of these things may be things that are just people that are jealous, that are that are talking about you. Um, you are somebody who's very wise, somebody who takes time for introspection, somebody who really enjoys your alone time, and somebody who really looks inside for your guidance and your awareness. And you bring this guidance and awareness to others as well through your speech. And at times that speech may just be a little bit immature. It may not be... It may be a little fast acting before you think about it, and you may say things sometimes that you don't really mean. And you also may attract a lot of people that are very devious, very cunning, very manipulative, things like that into your life because of the spiritual path that you have chosen. Some people may see this as naive, but what it is is that you are very unconditionally loving, and you don't allow those people to tear you down. So you are capable of being around those people while not allowing them to destroy your life or your path 
You may also be making a decision right now on which direction you want to go. And people may be worried that you might not feel good enough to go after what you truly want to go after. So you might be putting on a mask and you may not be showing others your true self. So make sure that you're taking the time away from other people's energies to be able to get in touch with yourself and what you truly want to do moving forward. You also may be somebody who doesn't just give respect and love away to others without them. You know, you're capable of walking away from people if they are not going to treat you in a good manner. You're capable of making a decision and going a new direction at any point, which is a good thing as well. And if you feel drawn to pile one, go ahead and check that one out as well, especially if you have a lot of ambition going on career-wise right now. Forgiveness is needed here for yourself and for others. So you might be taking a lot of, they might feel like you're taking a lot of these impulsive actions because of the way that you've been treated in the past as well. And they really feel like you would benefit from some self-forgiveness, love, compassion, empathy, understanding, as well as for others as well. You're somebody who does that for others though, I believe. So I think this is more for yourself that People see you as needing to forgive yourself and love yourself so that you no longer are willing to accept people coming in with not so good intentions. Believe in yourself and distance yourself and take action. <laughs> so believe in yourself, distance yourself. We were just talking about that and take action. Answers are coming soon. Remember your mother's words and actions. Traffic jam patience required. Stand your ground. So this may also have to do with your mother and the way that you were raised. You may have been raised to not believe in yourself, not believe in your dreams, to feel like you couldn't accomplish anything or to be in an energy of lack. And, you know, you may have even dealt with somebody who was really overly critical and analytical towards everything you wanted to do. And you may do that yourself in your life sometimes to other people around you as well. You may allow other people to do this to you. You may allow other people to come in and take that role and take that place and hurt you in a lot of ways when you do need to stand up and stand your ground. There's a lot of patience required at this point in time in your journey because there may be some roadblocks, but those roadblocks are inside of yourself and it's time to really go within to understand what's causing it. Pick your battles, choose wisely. Not everything needs a dramatic response. You always look so put together. You are untamable. You are a fiery force to be reckoned with, spirited. All your hard work is starting to pay off. No more worrying. Notice and enjoy slash celebrate your victories, even if it's a small start. You have accomplishment. You have accomplished so much already. Notice and appreciate how far you've come. Apparently you've had accomplishments, because that's what I wanted to say originally. Your peaceful presence calms any atmosphere. So yeah, you may have been a little overly harsh in some of your words lately. You may have been a little bit overly dramatic in some of your responses lately, maybe because of dealing with somebody that has triggered a lot of things in you. And now is the time to remember that you don't have to address every issue. Choose your battles wisely and make sure to give a calm response, to respond, not to just uh, react to situations. And you always look so put together. You may be somebody that may hide a lot of your vulnerabilities behind a very put together persona or other people feel that way. And it could also be that even with everything that you're going through, people just see you as really being able to handle it very well. You're somebody very fiery, very somebody who takes action, somebody who really is very forward moving. And Try not to worry anymore. Start to notice and celebrate everything that you have accomplished and, every, and how far you've come. Even if it's a small start, there's a lot of victories that you've had. There's a lot of small victories you've had. Recogni recognize those and really give yourself credit. And stop worrying about whether or not what you're doing and what you're learning is paying off. Because you may be gaining a lot of knowledge right now as well. You may be even gaining a lot of truths right now that you didn't notice from the past that are causing you to see things in a different light and just remember that your presence really brings a lot of calming energy to others around you too and not to take any of this too seriously 
because people see what they want to see and sometimes people are projecting a lot of what they are onto you as well and I think there's a lot of projections in this pile because you're somebody who's a light worker which means there's a lot of light and beauty and love in you and some people just may not be seeing that for what it truly is because they don't believe in it you know they don't believe anybody could be that beautiful so that's what I have for this pile and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments below or if you have a suggestion for a future video I'd love to hear that as well and I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye bye guys pile three 2533 was just on the clock so there's a lot of change or transformation that you have been through that have really aligned your thoughts feelings and actions and is bringing a very steady balance into your life and into your connections as well and you may be somebody who's very much in the spotlight somebody that's very you may be a youtube reader of some kind or you or even just a like somebody that is in the spotlight and somebody that is trying to lead others somebody that may even have a Facebook group or a Instagram page that is dedicated to leading and helping others somebody very fiery very passionate very artistic creative somebody very discerning as well and somebody who really has a lot of buried treasure within them somebody who really believes in liberty freedom happiness joy optimism and somebody who really may be very much in the spotlight I'm just picking up a lot of in the spotlight energy and this has 1943 on it too so that may be of significance to somebody as well somebody who really just believes that everyone is an individual and deserves to walk their own path and be themselves great job thank you for going above and beyond save and redeem so you may be somebody who really puts a lot of energy and time into helping others and there are a lot of people that would like to thank you for your guidance your wisdom your advice 2007 as well as on that people also see you as somebody very natural very grounded who enjoys the natural world some people may even see what you do as very fake but that's just because they aren't living as their true selves as well we also have this Christmas tree here so there may be something that there may be some recognition or something coming towards Christmas time I think you're somebody who communicates very effectively as well somebody who really brings a very family and beautiful energy to the world around you somebody who shines very brightly and is very much seen and appreciated and if you aren't that's how other people see you is very seen and appreciated very heard we have the cheetah and we have the starfish so if you pick this pile you may have picked pile one and two just to throw that out there so you're somebody who has a mixture of fire and water and energy as well somebody who's very emotional and intuitive but also somebody who's very fiery and passionate somebody who's both mixed with the feminine and the masculine sides of yourself very balanced in that way people may see you as very beautiful very bright very shining somebody who is very goal oriented somebody who is very action based and somebody who really takes action to bring to life the things that they feel they want to go after somebody who is very committed to taking action to bring their dreams to life as well they may also see you as somebody who may be superficial somebody whose beauty may only go surface deep but I really you know a lot of times people see what they want to see they may also see you as somebody who may be a little aggressive as well in your business dealings we have the tower the star <laughs> and strength so we got two stars here and this star 
So you're somebody who stands out, somebody who may be a little eccentric, somebody who is bright and shining, somebody who brings a lot of light and hope to those who are in darkness, somebody who really has a lot of courage and strength, and somebody who really has been able to tame their inner demons and has been able to withstand all the things that have fallen away or fallen apart in your life with hope and optimism and faith for a new day. They also see you as somebody who is very grounded, even though you're very emotional, you're very grounded as well. You may be somebody who really, you may be very in connect, you may have a very deep connection with birds as well. And you may be somebody who really has had a lot fall apart in your life, but has been able to build that back up and is facing this situation with strength, courage, and commitment, and is really keeping your hope and faith alive no matter what situations you're facing. Deep, nurturing, poetic, grounded, intuitive, knowledgeable, perceptive, clairsentient, or empath, calming, balanced, harmony, love, and light. See, so yeah, I think anybody who's seeing you as shallow is projecting their own shallowness onto you. Because somebody who's an empath will never be shallow. You're very intuitive, very knowledgeable, you're very perceptive, you understand other people around you, you see their motives very well. You're somebody very deep, very grounded, very caring, nurturing, loving, somebody that is just very solid and stable, and somebody who brings a very calming, balanced, peaceful energy to the world around you. Somebody who brings peace in hard times and somebody who really spreads love and light to others who really brings hope and faith to other people in their darkest hours you have give your fears and worries over to a higher power <clears throat> there may be times where you allow your anxiety to overcome you and People can see that, but they also see that you have the strength within you to be able to release that as well. Don't worry about winning or losing. Just enjoy the game. So there's no need to worry about anything falling apart because maybe at times you might worry about things falling apart. You might, maybe you don't see your own beauty. Maybe you don't see the depth of your own beauty and that it has nothing to do with surface things or material things. It has to do with your naturalness and your kindness and your empathy and your caring and your peace and your love. When in doubt, look up. So you may be somebody very in touch with your religious beliefs or your spiritual beliefs and you really express those to the world around you as well. And people may see this as fake too. Some people may see this as fake, but it's not something fake. Stability is coming. 